good. The only thing I, the only thing I wanted, the only thing I didn't have was AC. <laughs> you don't need air conditioning. Sucks, but I've, you, I've been there, but you, you don't need air conditioning in Michigan. You're gonna die. But you, you don't need no air conditioning in Michigan. You just need to make sure the windows go down. I make sure the heater was good in it, and that's it. Bought the car, drove it, that's it. You don't need it anywhere. It's just comfortable. And the seats were good. I mean, everything was good. The radio, I mean, the radio had some problems, but the best part about driving that car was it was fun to drive. I mean, come on. Yeah. My cousin, who just got her license, guess what she owns? A BMW. Oh, yeah. Come on. The only kind of BMW I want is the Izetta. You know what? When she takes that to the shop, you'll just be laughing because she's going to spend more than you paid on that whole car just to get a service. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, I mean, I've not seen her car yet, but I start bust up laughing because she, she bought a Beamer. I'm thinking, that thing is a piece of junk. You're going to have problems with that thing. He told, she told me what it was. I said, oh, good. Have fun servicing that hunk of junk because you're going to have to go all the way to Kalamazoo to get serviced. Me, I just have to go to the corner of the Ford dealer. All I have to do is go up to, uh, up to, um, over in V-Town, get my parts, my car service, because, I mean, I didn't go to the Ford dealership, I went to the local dealership in town that fixes his car for dirt cheap. I thought, wait, if the thing still ran, I wondered if you could do the Ford dealership if they would repair it for me or not. I think they would have. I wonder if they would repair it for me or not. they would have tried to sell you a new car. Yeah, the thing is, though, I don't want a new car. I mean, no offense. No, I like, but they would have tried. I wonder if they'd actually fix it for me or not. That's what I'm wondering. Would they actually fix it for me or not? Because you know the slogan, they fix any. I mean, there's one place. This one place in town had a Ford. There's a Ford dealership a few miles up the road from where I lived. And if it's a Ford, we'll serve it. I mean, the slogan was, "If it's a Ford, we service it." I should have took that there and see if they would service it or not. Yeah, that would have been interesting. I mean, besides that, it was a nice little. It was a nice little car. I mean, it it picked up and go. It did pretty well. So, how many miles or kilometers did that one have on it when it when it I bought, bit the dust? When I bought it, it had, I think I swear I made it roll over. That thing, when I bought it, when I owned it for the year, I swear I rolled the rolled the made it thing roll to all zeros. Oh yeah. That speed it was in miles an hour, but my my new car, the car I own now, my new vehicle I own now, that's yeah, a that yeah. That one, that one has over five hundred thousand kilometers on it right now. What? Yeah, the car, the vehicle I own right now, because it's a, because it's a nineteen ninety four. Toyota, whatever, and it, yeah, has only five thousand kilometers on it. When I bought it, now it's oh, at bleh. now it now it has seven thousand, seven hundred thousand kilometers so, on it now. Yeah, that is magical. I've mean, got you guys live in Canada. Your rules are different than ours. I've mean, got you live in Canada. The rules are different in Canada. You guys have to wait fifteen years. I have to wait twenty five years to get a license. What? No, in Canada, you have to wait 15 years to import a car from a different country. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah, in Canada and the state of Maine, you have to wait 15 years to import a Japanese car from Japan to the, the to Canada. In, in the U.S., you have to wait 25 years to import a Japanese car. Oh, yeah, because they want you to buy a, a, a regular one, so the, the, car com the American car companies and the government are in bed together, basically. No, no, no. Because in twenty five years, in twenty five years, a car turns into a classic for twenty five years, so you can import it from Japan to America. In Canada, you have to wait fifteen years. Ah, so it's got to be fifteen years old. Is what you're saying? Pretty much, yeah. And the thing is, though, so I mean, so I mean, I always wanted, I always wanted this this Toyota. I mean, come on, it's like it's called a K car for a reason. It's like a brick on wheels. Well, and plus, you know, seven hundred thousand K. That is, like, I. Not many vehicles get that high. I mean, I, I mean, I, I'll put two hundred, I'll put two hundred thousand on it. Does it burn well? No, it does not. It's like a beetle. <laughs> the engine's in the back. It's like a beetle. It's like a beetle. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm lying. Okay, it's called. It's actually a Honda City. Still, it's four wheel drive, and it's a brick on wheels. Oh, I didn't know they made them all wheel drive. It's a brick. Uh, tight, look up, look up Honda City. That's what it actually. Okay, it's actually a Honda City. It's cute. I mean, it's cute, and it's it's a nice little car. I mean, I wanted a Hilux, but I couldn't find one, so I just got me the city. It actually fits in my garage. Oh, bonus! It's 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 a brick on wheels. That's all it is. So they say they are good economical cars. You just don't drive on the highway. Oh no! Why? Uh, it struggles at hundred. Ah. Uh, hundred K. Uh, 
a little underpowered. No, it, it struggles at a hard K. I found that out. I found that out the other day. Maybe that's just with you in it, though. Just no, kidding. no. I look online. Just kidding. Just kidding. I look online. A lot of people have problems when they go sixty. Oh, yeah. Sixty miles an hour. So, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna buy me another car, and keep the. And so I did. I bought myself a new car recently. Oh yeah, so just drive that one around town, and then I yeah, have to car for the that, long trips. No, yeah, the Honda City is going to be for the Honda City is going to be my roundabout car I use around town. If I want to go on to go into the bigger cities, I'll take I'll take my new vehicle I bought, which is which is a nice little which is a little Deco I bought myself a little Dakota. Oh, Dodge Dakota, cool. Yeah, I mean, I wanted a Subaru Brat, but eh, I'll take. I mean, this Dakota was this Dakota was like four four hundred bucks. Yeah, if you can get a running vehicle for that cheap, that's good. As long as it did, it, the, the only problem is like you could get a bad one that you have to put lots of money into. But if you get a good one for hundred bucks, that is an awesome deal. No, I, I mean I got it from the I got it from those catalogs you see on the paper where they say they're broken or stuff. Broker through a broker. No, there, there's a catalog you can get here. They can buy cars or pay fix them up yourself. You get them dirt cheap. Oh, oh no, I've never heard of that. You never oh, you never saw those you never seen those auto traders before. No, I have never the seen car, that. The cars are wrecked. You can get for like a thousand bucks. You can repair them and keep them. Yeah, this right. car this car has a couple problems. I mean, I found out what's wrong with this car. I looked at it, drove it around. Has, it's missing one thing. It's missing a decent, it says it needs a decent interior. And the back end was smashed. Oh, yeah. I bought it, though. <laughs> when, yeah, I mean, when my friend's when my, hurt the driving experience. No, when my friend's farm, when my friend's farm... We hooked up, we tied it to a pole. We tied it to two tractors. The frame, we tied it to two tractors and pulled the frame, pulled the strain up the frame. Oh, wicked. I mean, that is a farm repair if I've ever heard one. No, I mean, it wasn't, I mean, you could use a machine or use a tractor, or use a tractor. The frame was a little dented. But then we found out we need to get a new fuel tank for it. Which we get, which we're gonna be buying a racing tank soon for it. We're gonna buy a race tank for it. Well, so is that gonna be bigger? No, it's gonna be in the it's gonna be in the back seat. That's the thing. Oh. We're gonna put a race tank in the cargo area, and that's it. I mean, we already have a hatch for the car already. We have a new we already have a new hatch for it already. Oh yeah. I mean, the car. I mean, besides not besides that, we. I mean, we bought it. We just bought it like last month. We bought the sucker and. It's almost ready to go. All thing you do now is get some plates for it, and that's it. I just have to get so insurance for it, put plates on it. And you have to like take it to up here. We got to take our meals. They call it to get it safety. So they have a guy to look at it to make sure it's safe. Like there's no rust pulls through it. The suspension is good. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, we have to. I have to get it in too. But uh, in Michigan, they don't really care. Oh yeah, they're lax. It depends. It depends on what happened to the car. Since it was rear in, since it was rear engine impact, they I mean since it was rear impact, they won't really care that much. But yeah, my insurance guys, I have a insurance guy coming over to the plate seat later on. Then we're gonna first we take it over to the yeah we're gonna take it to a garage later on this week and let them check it. Tell them what we did to it. Then if they say it's sort of it's good enough to drive, then I'll get tax, get license on it and uh, you know get everything I need to do it done. And you only have to safety it once, and then it's good for life in Michigan. You know you have to do every after they hit, after you have someone look at it and stuff. Then every every month, every year, you have to get new tag, you know, new stickers for every year. You have to get new stickers for it. But, oh, but no safety like inspection, just stickers. No, you see, you safety inspection once, and that's it. If it's if it's safe enough, if the guy said it's safe enough to drive, then they'll let me drive it legally. I will tell them where we move the tank to. If we put a racing tank in it, they will not give us a problem. If it's a racing tank, they don't have no problem with it. If we if we locate the fuel tank and put it like in the back, it's a racing tank and stuff. They'll have no problem with it because you know why, right? It's a racing tank. It's built to get smashed. Yeah, but the, the expenses are going to cost me like twenty bucks, so it's not going to cost me that much to do it. Oh yeah, I mean, oh, that's like nothing this day and age. No, I mean, besides, I know that I personally I have a friend who does it for a living, so he'll give me a discount. Oh shoot, cool! Yeah, don't even pay him. Say, say, owe you one, buddy. I know I'm going to. I still have to pay him, or or he can get trouble and stuff. You know. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, you don't want to paperwork and stuff's missing, then I can get in trouble for that, and he can get he can get fired. I don't want to lose his job. So, yeah, that ain't worth it. So most likely he's gonna give, since this is gonna be an older car guy, it's gonna be a cheaper inspection. After he says oh, yeah. it's, after he says it's safe to drive, 
Then I got to take it over to the take it over to my insurance guy. He'll insure it for me. Then I have to take it over to the Secretary of State, get plates for it, and that's it. The thing is, such as if my you're ready. then I can legally drive. The problem is, I'm gonna have to get truck tags for it, which is gonna be expensive. I hate. Tr I don't like getting truck tags, but I have to get truck tags for the sucker. Oh, yeah. If it's an SUV, it get truck tag. If it's if it's a, it's weird though. If it's a, if it's a truck, it gets truck tags. But it's it's the thing that sucks is it's gonna get me truck tags. But me personally, I don't care. But as long as I can drive it and it keeps my butt warm, who, who really cares, right? Exactly. Get your point A to point B. Listen, warm and safe. That's only counts. And besides, I, I have, I mean, I, I drove some. I have driven some weird stuff over the years. But the thing is, though, if I actually could get what I really wanted to drive, I would. But still, a cheap Durango, that's a steal. Especially the person who's giving me the Durango is a friend of ours. is a friend of mine who gave me it. Yeah, no, it's by the, this Monday, by way this way Monday. Way that he might have taken care of it. That's where I bought it. Yeah, I bought it on a record's number. I, I told him, I didn't know he still had the Durango. I thought he sold that thing years ago. But nope, I knew who actually owned the Durango. So, yeah, he's the one who owns the farm. So, yeah, he's straightening up for me. And I bought and working on his property. I mean, he. And what year's the Durango? I'm just trying to picture it in my mind. If it's the older style, the little bit newer style. It's a it's a early two thousands. Okay. So it's not that bad. I mean, I mean, it had a little bit. Oh, of, no. and then I then I I thought it was gonna be bad as it, but actually, the engine wasn't that bad. It was just like a little. I tell him what happened. He told me a truck, one of his trucks, tapped it, and it, you know. So, actually, like I said, like I said, we're gonna take a look at the fuel tank later on this week and see how bad it is. I mean, we straightened the frame, but. I might put the fuel tank where back where it well, goes or something, but yeah, who knows? Is it leaking or just smashed up? It's just a little dent. I mean, it's like uh, he backed in the he backed a piece of equipment in the back of it. I mean, the it was like I mean, it has a little damage, but the way I looked at it, it didn't look that bad. So yeah. So and I, you mentioned you're putting that other tank in the back seat. Won't that stink up the interior like gas? No, it's a race. If it's if, 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 the, if the it depends if the racing tank. It depends if it's the race tank in there or not. Because if it's not that bad, then no, it won't. I'll just ship okay. the carpet out of it and do some stuff to it so it won't smell like gasoline. Oh, yeah. Because I actually have put tanks in different cars. I mean, I have put race, race tanks in cars before, and they usually put a, a hose, they usually put a gas a, a, a vent line so you won't smell gasoline. So what is the difference between a race tank and a regular tank? A race tank can take a hit and still not, not, not leak. Oh, okay, okay, yep, yeah. That's Makes the difference. Sense. That's the difference. A race tank yeah, is built to, uh, built to go, you know, besides, we, I mean, besides, I do, I mean, I used to do racing a lot. I do racing off and on still, so we still have some race parts around. Yeah. I mean, I live in the city, so I can't actually have my race stuff here, but I usually all, most of my race stuff is on this property anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, so I mean. is it like leathered up or power? Power and leather and all that? Or just power? It's, it's just fabric. I said, I mean, I recognized the number. I knew who owned it, so I called him. Hey, wait! I said, you still have that Durango for sale? He said, Yeah. How, can I fix up your property? He said, Yeah. All you need to do is get a new hatch for it. So yeah, <laughs> and yeah, there's not much damage. I mean, I, I mean, he has. So he doesn't have the property. He doesn't have the you know the newest tools and stuff is how on his property. But still, I, and he still has. And I didn't know he still had some of his red car parts there still too. Then we started busting. Found a hatch the same color. No, I could find a hatch the same color, no. but it doesn't matter. Close enough. It doesn't. No. It the, hatch doesn't is the hatch is black, the car's gray, the Dodge is gray. Oh, pff, that's not even a bad mix. Like, no. It's not red. That would stick out a little bit. That, it does. Hey, color. half the people around here. There's two people here in my town. It drives things that shouldn't be roadworthy. Yeah. You no, know, there's a guy in town that has a van with a big cut in the back of it. A cut in the back? Like. <laughs> That's not real worthy. And then there's a guy, another guy in town that has a Chevy that looks like a piece of shit that's holding down with straps. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking, one, how's that thing here road legal? <laughs> if I was a cop, I'd pull this guy over off the bat saying this thing's not legal in the roads. Yeah, that happened. The tailgate is holding on by rope. over a curb and the muffler fell off and it was really loud and the cop pulled me over and told me to get it safety. <laughs> and uh, then my, I took it on to my dad and he's like, that thing's never going to pass. And then that was it. <sighs> Did it pass? Oh, we never even took it in because my dad was like, "There's no way it's ever gonna pass." Listen, if it's a muffler problem, it's easy to that's easy that, that's easy to fix. Oh yeah, but there was a the box was falling off and there's severe rust all the frame and the box. What was it? It was a, a 1982 S10 single cab 
eight foot box, four speed. It was alright. Yeah, the thing is, though, trucks for. I mean, come on. People buy those trucks for one thing, one thing only. They buy them for farm trucks, mostly. Yeah, a cheap little truck to get around in, and you can still haul some stuff. Yeah, I mean, I know, like I said, my friend owns a farm. He owns, he has two trucks, right? Yeah. He drove one of his trucks down the road the other day. Says it's all community, right? Please didn't give me a ticket. Please just said, how are you doing? Not much. That's it. You know how he got home? He did the hand signals the way home. Oh, yeah. That's legal. You know what? Yeah, that's legal. You can do the hand signal still. Yeah, I mean, come on. He lives, about, he lives a mile down the road from the store, so, you know, he's just going to the store to pick up a couple things and leave. That's all he's doing. Yeah, and then you combine the two. He's not going far. If he's going across the country, that'd be different. And then if he did, like, he drove around town all day, every day doing hand signals, they might be pissed off. <laughs> There's a guy down there. There's a guy. There's, there's a guy around. The, there's a person I know. There's a person that lives around here. Their day. I mean, this summer was hilarious. This summer I went to Wendy's. This summer it was hilarious. This guy in front of me was a. This guy in front of me was driving a Model T in front of me. What? He went to the drive through through Wendy's in a Model T. <laughs> I wish I had a camera to film that because I would have put that on AFE. Yeah, that would make uh, some money. That'd be a sight. I wish I had my phone on me, but my phone wasn't in my back seat, so I can't get get distracted. Ah. I wish I had a camera to record that, because I would love to see how much money I could have won for that. That was no cool. Doubt. That was nice to see a Model T Ford. I mean, you don't see many of them running around. Nope. Uh, I should. That, I only, all fixed up. It was in good condition. Yeah. It's so funny though. The other day, I was reading some of the news. The other day, this guy, this guy tried to steal a, tried to steal a cop's car. There's <laughs> yeah. a Ford model. There's a Ford model A. He couldn't. He couldn't oh, steal it. He could not steal it. Car. He couldn't steal it. You know he did. Get started or what? He couldn't crank it over. Yeah, yeah. So the guy, the cop said, uh, "Someone tried to steal my car." Okay, and this is this is not this is a guy uptown, upstate. Other news: a cop. A, other day, a guy tried to steal a car from the chief of police of uh, I can't remember what town it was. He didn't get far for one reason. The, cu the suspect broke his arm while trying to crank it over. And it was, it, that was the funny part. The funny part was, though, he put, his fingerprints, he put his fingers on top of the chrome of the grill before he cranked it over. Oh, yeah, and that's like a sprint or what? Yeah, but there's also one something else. The town has a small hospital, right? Kyle mm. went over to the hospital saying, okay, how many people you got in now has broken arms? Only two people. When you broke your arm, son, five uh, foot skateboarding. He broke it two minutes ago. He just came in for a broken arm. Oh, guess what? You're under arrest for you're under arrest for attempted tempered dread GTA. Ran, ran his prints on his hand and ran the prints off the chrome match. He got charged with yeah, so he started busting laughing. Yeah, he's not. Um, he doesn't have a career he, in that criminal activity. Still, who in the right mind tries stealing a model of older vehicle? Because you need to crank those things over, and you can hurt yourself real bad. Yeah, if, if you're going to do that, you have to know what you're doing. He clearly didn't. Yeah, because you, that's you break your arm. Is doing that now. That's a classic mistake. Yeah, at least I'm not that dumb. Yeah, see, he's a special guy, apparently. I mean, one, that's an easy way to figure out who stole your car back in the old days. That's really easy to figure out how you stole your car, because they don't want to crank them. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Maybe I'll do something. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But yeah, I'm going to go on YouTube in a little bit and do something. I don't know what, though. And do you live stream or you just uh, put up videos? I do I do everything for me. I do live streams. Oh, yeah. Golf Cup is not coming up. I don't want to watch the Golf Cup. Yeah, I might go do some... Later today's going to be a live stream, then? I might do a live stream after this. Who knows? I might do some I might do some racing. I might oh, do yeah. something in a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Oh, yeah. So you're just going to hop on YouTube and whatever happens, happens? Yeah, I don't know. I'll go play some gaming, most likely. That's what I'm going to do. But I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm trying to figure out this. I want to watch. There's nothing on TV right now. It's just that I can't watch that. Can't watch that. I don't want to watch that. How could we can't? It's on. It's on a channel I don't get. Doctor J. Oh, uh, I have cheap they cable. Tease you. Undercover boss. Don't want to watch that again. It's boring. Undercover boss. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I seen it already. I seen this episode already. So yeah, it's boring. Yeah, I might just go on it in about five minutes and do just, I don't know. Oh, that one, that's not a bad video, but... Come on, more golf? Come on, it's freezing outside. You shouldn't be doing golf right now. You should be doing something else. 
Can't wait till November. I can't wait till, I can't wait till October. I mean, February. Then all racing comes back out. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for all racing. The A team. That movie sucked. The original's better, anyways. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Roadhouse, Red Dawn, Kearney. Eh. There's just nothing on. Counting cars. There's just nothing on today. Yeah. Counting cars would be all right. But it's okay, it's but boring too. Two o nine. Velocity. Garage Squad. Nothing's on. Ah, you YouTube. See, yeah, most likely. Type I did. There's something on YouTube I want to watch either, so I brought off making my yeah. videos. So yeah, I'm gonna do some. There's always porn on that. Yeah, or e621.net. Whoa, what's that one? e621.net. That's a good one too. Oh, e621.net, eh? That's a good one too. Okay, well, I just might have to check that out. And if you I'll like, that one into trust me, that one, that's pretty, that's better, that's pretty good. If you like to see cartoons, they're not supposed to be doing what they're supposed to be doing. That's a good one. Oh. Guess what they, guess what they did, guess what someone did? A video, the comic strip, of Moxie getting pegged by Luna. Huh? Have you ever seen Hell of a Boss? No, I haven't. Oh, so you wouldn't get it, but yeah. You can type in any character you can think of, and they'll actually have it. I mean, you type in anything in the box, it's cartoon-related, and they'll show you something you don't want to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one person screwed... Yeah. Thing is, I don't draw that well, but trust me, they got some pretty good pictures on there, too. I mean, they have... Nice. They have Paw Patrol. They have The Simpsons. They also have... They also, I mean, they have... They have Angry Beavers. They have Wackles Marlin Life. They have... Um, they have everything you think of. Can you type that one in for me? Yeah. The thing is, though, there's something that... There's one character that all the gays like. But since I'm bi, I don't... There's one character that all the furries like, and I'm since I'm a... Since I'm bi, I know about the character that everyone loves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They have some pretty good stuff on there, but I'm telling you, if you want to see something... Trust me, they even have pictures... They even have Sonic doing stuff that shouldn't be appropriate. No, that's... Right up my alley, not appropriate. I mean, they got videos. They got some. They got some videos, and they got some good pictures. I mean, one person made a picture of uh, Plusle and Minel kissing. Who kissing? Plusle and Minel. Pokemon. I don't. I'm not really into Pokemon. But yeah, they actually have. Oh yeah. They actually have cartoon characters doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. But one person drew a character, right? I thought it was a real cart. I thought it was a real picture. Nope, the person drew it. There's a person right here. There's a person that drew something on... Hey, I think I, I moved the picture up. I think around where's the picture at. Oh, yeah, here it is. I worked on the picture one time. Where's it at? Where's it at? This is the one? This one was funny. Oh, here it is. This one was funny. This one I got blown up. Blown up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Elvin the Chipmunks. You're going to steal their clothes. <laughs> yeah, that one was pretty funny. No doubt, that's a pretty good drawing too. Yeah, I didn't draw that, but I did work on this one. This one, I worked on the, the Sonic one. I worked on. I worked on the Sonic one. This one, this one was a pain in the butt to do, because you don't know what Sonic's feet look like. So this one was a hard one to do. Oh yeah, that's wicked. I yeah, like yeah, I do the I do the shoes for both of them. Hmm. The thing we had a problem. We thinking the hardest part for us to draw is Sonic sandals because remember what you wear, you know. I thought, how about, yeah, we did, I, did, I drew the sandals myself, I thought, you know what, if these actually existed, I'd wear them. The problem is, we don't have sandals, how we actually wear these or not. Then my friend started bulking, Jack, and Joe going, yeah, hey, wear these sandals, they'd be pretty comfortable for him. The problem is, they wouldn't last long, I thought, yeah, they would last longer, but we don't know. Nope. Yeah, but who we told? never know. No one knows what Sonic's feet look like, because in the original cartoons, he had three toes, and in the modern version, he has more. Oh, really? Okay. Not... In the movie, he has yeah. five toes, but yeah, they screw him up. I'm just going to maybe do some racing at... Ooh! 4430? Wow. It's already 4 o'clock already. Wow. It's already 430? Wow. Guess what time it is here? 5? Ah, 330. Oh, so you live... Oh, so you live... So you live an hour behind me. I go by New York time here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go to Hall. Wait. Let's go to Hall. in two months. 
Halifax? Is it Halifax or is it Nova Scotia? I'm just going to go somewhere in a few months. Oh, cool. Oh, Halifax is a really nice place. I yeah. know. I'm supposed to go there to pay my respects to someone over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the, a like, really old part. There's lots of old buildings, so. Yeah, I mean, I always wanted to go to Canada. I mean, my passport finally came in the mail last year, last week, so that's good. Oh, your passport? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to go to Canada soon, yeah. We're gonna be oh, going to you might, I don't know this for a fact, but you might have to be all vaccinated up. I'm, you might oh, I'm already, been va I'm already fully vaccinated. Oh, so you're, yeah, you're good, then. You're good. I've been fully vaccinated for a while now. Been waiting for a passport to come in because I've been having. I've been always wanting my passport, and I thought, you know what? I'm just. I've never flown before, so I thought, you know, I'm just gonna fly. I just need to drive across the border. Because last time I went to Canada, I drove across the border with no problems. Oh, it's very rare you'll have a problem. Now I'm gonna drive. Now if you want to fly across the border, you have to have a passport. They said. Huh. So yeah, I'm gonna. I figured for sure you need it for both ways, but okay. If you want to, go, if you drove to Canada, you don't need a passport. You need to see your license and your ID. Okay, okay. You go across Canada. Go do. If you're gonna do, if I want to fly, you need your license. Then you need everything. Which I got everything, oh, but yeah. my my passport's in, so I just have to go to the post office uh, Monday and pick it up. I'm pretty sure we need. I need my passport if I want to drive across the border to America, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I googled it before I even got my passport. I googled it at first. Oh yeah. And the last one to Canada was back in 2018, so, you know, before that corona yeah. stuff happened. Yeah. Things could have changed. Yeah, but I mean, I wanted to go to Canada. I always wanted to go to Canada. It's just that I haven't been to Canada in years because of the corona stuff. I haven't been able to go to Canada since. Yeah, so it's probably slowed down so you can do what you want. Yeah, there's some things in Canada that I want to pick up that you guys can't get. Yeah, you got, we don't got. But you guys come to our place to get the gas. The gas is always cheaper. <laughs> It is, but then our dollar's so low right now. I don't think it's worth it right now. But no, our gas is now three dollars. Our gas is now four four twenty five a gallon now. Yeah, ours is more than that, a lot more. I know, cause you guys go by the liter. Yeah, we go by liters, and I think it works out to like six, seven, eight dollars a gallon. <laughs> I can't try California. California is worth it, worthless. People from California, right? people from California went down to Mexico and get their gas. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be even better. <laughs> no, I don't know. The thing is, though, wait until our promo for my president to get tossed out so he has to be lower. Our president is an idiot. Well, I don't know it for sure, but everyone says that, so I will take your word for it. No, because, cause, I mean, I don't get into politics or religion that much because that's what he said we do. Our friends from Saudi Arabia are, I mean, come on. President, our first older, older president said we're no longer going to take foreign oil. Back when he was president, now he's been, this was an older president, and guess what happened? He's not doing that. Our new president's uh, breaking the rules. Come on, gas was, when the when Trump was president, gas was only a dollar something a gallon for fuel. Yeah, because he was, I'm guessing because he was producing more? No, because we're, we're producing all, we're producing it from our con own country. Yeah, that's what I meant, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I meant. So he was making America produce it, yeah. Yeah, and guess what? Guess where we get it now from? Aramco, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and that's a country that you don't want to support financially, I don't think, because I don't think they're good people. I mean, it depends on who is who. You know, it depends on what, depends on who you're working for. Because Aramco is an old company in Saudi Arabia. Listen to me. One guy from here lied to Saudi Arabia about something, and he got fined. He, he got, he got, he went to, he went there, he got, went to jail in the country for the way he lied. Whoa! Guess what he said. He I said know what. he said I bought he said he bought percentage of Aramco oil from Saudi Arabia, right? And it's selling in the U.S. Okay. He wasn't. He didn't buy no. He didn't buy nothing from Aramco. Huh. So he, why he said that. I don't know. He said he he bought part of Aramco oil and transported to the U.S. Technically, he was transporting their oil while paying for it. So he got trouble with, it, and the Congress said, "Congress said it's not our fault." Just Congress said, "It's not our fault. You can deal with it. We don't want to deal with them." Oh yeah. So Saudi Arabian government now deal with them. You get yourself and, into that. You get yourself out, kind of thing. Uh, especially when you especially touch someone that doesn't. Especially when you're talking about. I mean, Aramco is not really a good guy. I mean, the government said we don't want to deal with this guy. This guy did what to you guys, and he told us that you know what, we'll give you him so you can deal with him your way. Yeah, and then that would keep them happy, and then. You would get taught a lesson, I guess. Yeah, especially when you lie about something that you do not have to the U.S. government. 
So yeah, he had the IRS up on his. Yeah, so he had the Saudi Arabian government up his butt, plus the IRS on his butt for lying how much income he's making from oil export, what he's actually not doing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's something you don't. It's something that you don't get. To, that's why I don't get to politics or religion, because that's something you don't deal with on YouTube. Yeah, just nothing but problems, I guess. Yeah, but. That's what people ask. I mean, there are days someone asked me what am I? I told them I'm, in, I'm independent because I don't, because I don't, you know, this and that, you know, all that abortion crap and stuff. That's where it gets real confusing. I just tell people I don't care. That's my abortion is no 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 non issue to me. I think it should be legal to do it. And I don't know why people get so upset. It was legalized back in the set. It was legalized back in the sixties. Yeah, yeah, it's been legal for a long time, and then they just. They just changed it back, right? In certain states or all federally? most um, some states did that. Michigan, our governor, governor, our governor uh, put a block on it, so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, see, that's one reason I like Michigan because uh, they stand up for themselves. I mean, come on, abortion. I do, I do agree with some things for abortion. You know, if it's for health or something like someone got raped and having a kid, right? Yeah, well, makes sense. Right. But and I think even if you make a mistake, I think. You and know what? You know what I mean. Also, that you said. You know what I mean, though, right? If you're gonna, if it's just gonna make you, if it's gonna kill you or something. Some people, some yeah. people, some person, one person said they can't have a kid because they're afraid it's gonna happen. Some bad's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, she was right. She had a kid, right? She broke yeah. her. She broke her pelvis. Oh wow. She had. She had a. Rare, she didn't know she had a rare bone disease, so she broke her pelvis after she had the kid. Oh damn. She, she almost broke her pelvis. Well, yeah. Yeah. Like she was pregnant. Uh, she was like she she was like three months. Ahead. She was like a few months. Uh, a few months around long. Car okay. cra car cra car crash. She had a car crash and broke her pelvis. Yeah. Which she was sad because well, she's. She had a feeling, right? They say you should always go through your gut instinct. But she didn't want to get rid of the baby. But when she broke her pelvis and stuff, she said, oh, "You know, I'm going to abort the kid." She was only she was only like two weeks ahead. She's like she was only like maybe a like two months along with the kid. So she got the kid aboard. And yeah, yeah. I think that would be silly. Come on, she had a her pel she broke some bones, broke her pelvis. Yeah, that's, so that's why that she got. Affect the kid. Uh, your pelvis is where the baby comes from, comes out of. That's true. Like she'd be in more pain, but yeah. The kid so would be so she said she'll board it. So she you no, know, she did instead. She adopted kid. She if adopted. Only a couple weeks along. You think the pelvis would be healed by the time she's ready to have the kid? But doctor said. But she doctor said. But she was too afraid to worry about it breaking again. Ah. Uh, but guess what she did though. Well, right, because the rare bone disease, right? She. But she. You know, she did though instead. She adopted. What? Oh. So okay. she. She said, "You know what? I can't have my own kid. I'm still gonna do the right thing. Adopted my own kid. So she adopted two kids, twins. You know what? That's good because those adopted kids." kind of need a good family so like why make more when you can just get an adopted one I, I don't see nothing wrong with that usually some people some people some people you know get kids so they can have an heir to their heir or something yeah or they can you know do the dishes that's a great reason too <laughs> yeah like Beastars <laughs> Beastars have you ever seen the heir of the book series Beastars no I haven't What's oh that? cause that's different this guy this guy got a kid from somewhere he shouldn't have got a kid from since his father, since the person that took the kid got the kid was sterile, he couldn't have kids. Yeah. He adopted one from a traffic ring. He adopted a kid from a traffic ring to make his own, make him his own. A traffic ring. It's it's confusing. I can't like explain. It. It's it's called B the series. The book is called B Stars. It's different. So yeah, he got his from uh. Yeah. So yeah, this is like guy. A human trafficking ring. You know, human trafficking. Yeah. Okay. So that's how he got the baby instead of like going. The legit way through whoever he didn't want no one to track him you know he didn't, oh, yeah. he didn't he didn't want to look to his files for how he got his kid you know oh yeah yeah which it makes sense he thought i'll take a kid from this place where no one will find any records of him even existing he just did so he no, got, no. you know so they can't so they can't take so they can't take his because when he because when he, he's you know if he dies his son will take over the company and he knows that so it's his son since he has a blood taking over the company someone detect like his blood they won't no, be suspicion of it. Yeah. Which I understand why he didn't want no one to look into his look into how he got his son, but you know, I do the same thing, but I don't care. 
I really yeah, don't yeah. care. He, he happened to care, and then like a lot of people wouldn't, but he had his own reasons for caring. The reason he got him for is so that no one would look, find out that, that, I mean, come on, the company that his, this guy runs, his family owned it for their whole life. Whole life, family owns the whole company for his whole life. Oh, yeah. And he want to make sure that he is, make sure that he had someone that he could trust to run the company when he dies. Yeah. So, yeah, so that worked. He got, his son took over the company when he was 20. And you know what? He probably saved that kid, too, from that ring. Mm, yeah, he did. He saved it from getting killed off, yeah. Yeah, or raped or whatever. It was a young boy he got. Yeah. Come on. That's it. It's kind of neat, though, because, you know, you're getting someone, you want to get someone you can trust, to be, pretend to be your son, father, and this, pretend to be pretend to be your son, so you have your own, you know, because you, that's how most people are. They want to have an heir to run their company and run everything they worked for. And then, yeah, you know... There's a better chance you can trust your son than, like, your friend, because, you you know? Yeah. Thing is... There's that, a better chance that you can trust... He is trustworthy, but not necessarily is, but there's a better chance. And it depends how you raise him, too. If he doesn't like you, then there won't be a good chance. But if you raise him and he likes you, then you'll be good. Yeah, thing is, though, the son... Recently, that son recently got married to... Yeah, in the book, his son recently had a kid. Yeah. The thing is, though... The thing is, though, his father never got a chance to see, meet his grandkids... That sucks, doesn't oh, yeah, it? yeah, that's sad. That is sad, yeah. But the thing is, though, he broke... He's actually... Technically, he's... He had a... He has a... He has a half-blood. He has a... It's confusing how his kid is, because half his kid... His kid's one type and their type. Yeah. The, first, the problem is it's a girl, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Mm. Because the rule is, they say that usually it has to be a... It has to be a blood... A blood line. Well, it has to be, always be the kid. Takes over. Think, oh, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, this is the first time everyone was adopted. He was the first one, this is the only one that was ever adopted, technically. Only one person knew about his past, besides his father, was the mayor of the city he lived in. Oh, yeah. He told the mayor to do me a favor. Ignore this one thing. This your, this is your file. If you do what I tell you to do, I'll make sure, by if you do what I tell you to do by the end of the week, by the end of the day, this will be, I'll throw this in the furnace if you do what I tell you to do. And it, and it was his life. Oh, yeah. The mayor knew about where he was, where he came from. Mm -hmm. You do me a favor, this will be removed, and the ID number on your foot will be gone. Yeah, yeah, so he had uh, that uh, favor done like that. And he, he did what, he did what the mayor, the mayor told him to do. He did what the mayor told him to do. Within two weeks, he got that tattoo number on his foot removed. Oh, yeah. That was convenient, right? No doubt. I wonder what the mayor wanted him to do, though. Keep his mouth shut about this person missing. Oh, okay, okay. The worst part was it was his girl. It was one of his girlfriend. It was one of his uh, one of his classmates. Oh man, so that's shady stuff. The mayor. That's the mayor actually. Knew, it was a come on. It was a crime boss group. It took her. He told her. He told the mayor actually who it was. The mayor can't do anything about it because he knows the police got involved. Or anything else happened, that person would be dead faster. You know. Yeah. yeah so he was. He was. He, he told Trying me to minimize casualties. Try to push everything under the rug and make everything better the easiest way possible, I guess. Yeah, which I don't blame that mayor at all. I understand what the mayor's trying to do. The mayor doesn't want to be because the mayor doesn't want to have to worry about having you know people up. You don't want to have people down your back and stuff. Yeah, he wants his life to be as easy as possible. Doesn't want to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, especially yeah, but B stars like B stars like a dull version of Zootopia. No, I don't know that one either. But Beastars is a pretty good series. You need to read the books to understand what's going on. But it's pretty that neat, does though. Sound like awesome, like the way you're describing that. That story is. I would read that. I guess I already know what's going to have to really. You have to but read I don't it, know how it ends, though. So don't stop here. I don't know how it ends. The thing is, though. The thing is, though. The thing is, though. The main character is not 100% what it looks like. Oh yeah. There's the main character, which I'll show you right now. Yeah, the main character, Legoshi, he has a secret. This is the first this is the first book. Uh, so when was that book made? Uh made not the long ago. The last book came out this last book came out recently. Oh, okay, okay. They just got printed in I mean I got all the books now. There, there's like twenty two there? Um there's twenty two of them. Holy 
And this will cost, will cost you 18 bucks in Canada. Oh, yeah. There's 22 of them. The last one just came out in English. That's pretty expensive. That's cheaper than... I paid 13. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we always get screwed over. Thing is, though, these books are pretty good. It's like high school. It does sound like it. I would, if I ever seen that in a bookstore, I would absolutely pick it up. Barnes & Noble have it. Barnes & Noble, yeah. Yeah, and I actually, and I actually, I actually did cosplay of one of these characters too in the series. Oh yeah. Yeah, I cosplay as a panda bear. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But, On a mangle, or where where did you go to do that? I did it here in my house. Oh yeah, yeah. And then I went on a meagle and filmed it on my camera and put it on my playlist under furry slash cosplay on my playlist on my channel. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was fun doing it. The problem is the paint after a while will start drying out, so that's what sucked. But I love being a panda bear. It's so much fun. You know what? If I was to be an animal, the panda would be a pretty relaxed lifestyle, I'd say. Yeah, the problem is the, sh the problem about panda bears is they eat bamboo, which would be like cyanide. Oh, that's poison? Uh, if you don't cook it properly, you can get cyanide poisoning from it, yes. And they oh, go damn, I did not. And they go to the bath. They go to the bathroom sixteen times a day. <laughs> a real one does. Well, that's crazy, but you know that would be fun. You know, nothing else to do. You got no job, so. Yeah, panda bears are cute. I mean, panda bears are pretty smart. They're cute, yeah. And uh, I didn't. I don't know anything about them other than that. Some guy did. A t some guy wanted to do a test with a baby panda bear, so you know he did. He put. A he took one of those rings and stuff. The babies use. Oh, he took a what? You know, baby rings that kids play with, the rings and stuff? Like, oh, who looped or what? You know, the rings upon the top of that thingy. That toy thing. I don't know what they call it. Thing that has the rings on it for babies that suck on stuff. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that thing, yeah. He put it, he, I couldn't believe it. The panda bear actually did, actually put them together properly. Oh, wow. As, I don't think it was zoo it was in, but it was a zoo, it was some zoo here in the States he did it with. It just that the green one was missing. He tried eating the green, the green one. He tried. He tried eating the green one because green one looked like you know bamboo. Yeah. But he did. He did pretty well. He got most of them right. Oh, that's cool. I mean, pandas get pretty. I mean, if you treat a panda properly, they're, they're pretty smart. Oh yeah, yeah. That's got to be as smart as a monkey, right? Or maybe a dog. A little less, or. I mean, pandas are way smarter. Pandas have always been smarter than anyone else. Pandas are quite smart, especially when they know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. A little training and. Yeah, maybe if I, maybe in a little bit I'll go do some racing soon, so yeah. So that zoo you work at, what do they have exotic animals or just the regular ones? We we're practically like a we're practically like a petting zoo. We have two turtles, some ferrets, oh, yeah. a bearded dragon, a cow, a ram, a lamb, and a couple hor a horse and an ass. That's all we have. An ass, so a donkey. Yeah. And he's real annoying. Uh, yeah, they say yeah, donkeys, they, however they're bred, like, they got the horse or, like, whatever the mom and the dad is, and they make a donkey. And they say they, the donkeys get the, the bad traits from both the species that make it. No, the donkey just, the donkey just knee haws a lot. That's all it does. Ah, uh, yeah. But, I mean, the only animal you have to, the only animal you have to worry about is that, is that, uh, ram. Does it ram you? No. One time, no, the ram actually, one time someone was making, doing something funny, right? I said, be careful what you do or you'll regret it. I said, what he said. Yeah. I told him, if I were you, I'd be careful what you're doing. What's going to happen? I recommend you not doing nothing dangerous. He was like leaning against the fence, right? Yeah. I'd be careful what you do. And he said, what's going to happen? I'd rather not say. So guess what happened? <laughs> the, goat, the goat came up to the fence, leaned against the fence. The ram did. Behind him. Yeah. Like, like, and he started screaming and started yelling at him. Oh, yeah. Got him on the fence, right next to him, started screaming at him, and he started running, what's what the, he ran away. I said, I told you, he screams. <laughs> and I just, so I went over to the feed bucket, got him some feed, and he ate it around my hand. I started well, busting laughing. Well, some people have to learn the hard way. You should just listen. Uh, we have a sign that says, please don't leave again to the fence. He didn't listen to what we said. Yeah. One guy didn't listen to him, because what happened? But we we had a goat there one time. The goat ate his shirt. 
Oh yeah, he grabbed his shirt. Or, he tear it right off or just bite a chunk out. No, it took a hook. No, actually, he didn't. He didn't have a button properly. You know, with the shirt you button down. Yeah. He didn't have a button on, so you could see his chest stuff, and it started eating it. And <laughs> I started bust up laughing. What's so funny? Uh, I go, and that guy did not listen to me either. So I said, "Get away from the fence." Why? Uh, you bring, I told him to bring these pair of shirts. I said, "Yeah, why?" Man, would buy get a new shirt on soon, or buy a new shirt. Why? Uh, because you might need a new shirt soon. Why? I said. No reason. What? Nothing. Just don't. Just I said. I said. Don't watch. Uh, no reason. There's a wall behind you. I thought. Wait. What? He thought. He thought. <laughs> we used to have an alpaca. And I thought. He thought. What? The alpaca's gonna spam me? I don't know. Well, what's alpaca? Doesn't do nothing. You know. But I didn't see the goat behind him. I saw the thing. I saw was the alpaca, and the goat came by and chewed his shirt off. Yeah, that'd be freaking hilarious. It was funny, but I didn't have a camera to see. I wish I had a camera to film it, but. My camera was put up in my work box at the time. Yeah, you uh, never have it when, stuff when you need it. Yeah, but it's just so funny watching him get his, get his shirt eating off. And the so funny thing is, though, it was so funny, though, because this one guy said, You told me that I thought you said the llamas, I thought llamas don't eat this stuff. I said, That was a goat, not a llama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I started bust up laughing at him. And he said, That's not funny. I said, Yeah, it's hilarious. It's funny as hell. Especially. <laughs> Especially when they know, especially the goats don't I mean, come on, the animals know who we are, the animals know who some of the people are, so they know that, what we do and stuff, and we know that we don't do enough to us, because they know they won't get punished. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they probably recognize you and whoever else who works there. They also recognize some of the locals, too. They also recognize some of the local kids there, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on, some of the locals that go there all the time know who they are, and they know the animals won't hurt them if you treat them. I mean, one year there's a kid here saying, what's this thingy? And I told him it was. An I told him what it was. I said, "Really?" And the dad said, "Dad thought I was lying." I said, "No, it's. I know what it is." He thought he thought I was wrong, but I told him, "You know what? Close enough." He thought I was wrong, but you know what though? He told me they hard to tell. I know they're practically the same to a point. He thought he thought it was an alpaca, but it was actually a llama. But oh, you yeah. know what? Close enough. Oh, absolutely. They're just they're cousins. Why wouldn't he listen to you? You work there. You think he would listen to you? I don't have. I don't wear. I don't wear a work shirt there. Ah, uh, so you. I don't actually work in the zoo. I work in the snack shack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, on the yeah, zoo, yeah, but it's not part. It. But it's on the zoo, but it's not part of the zoo. Yeah, yeah. I got and we were and we were open yet. We were. I mean, I was just killing time before I had to go to work. You know. Oh yeah. Kill the time before I had to go to work. So when I I don't have to, if I don't have to work in the snack shack first, I just stay there, help out a little bit. You know. Yeah. Help out a little bit. Make them help them out a little bit. Extra help to need extra help. I mean, usually I'm with that. I'm usually with the oldest. Tur I'm usually with the oldest thing at the zoo, Bob, who's like 25 years old. Huh? Who's a big old? Who's an African tortoise? I'm usually with him all day. Hmm. People are surprised though, because this turtle can actually. This turtle has its own spot. It walks upstairs and stuff. People don't understand it, though, why I hang out with him more. We there's a staircase supposed to go down. And there's a ramp for him to go up and down on. But sometimes he walks up the stairs. Sometimes. No. Yeah. I mean, I got I got some videos of that too. I think on my channel too, called Skimmer Park. But yeah, I got I got a lot of videos of different things on my playlist I put on, and I do pretty good. I do a yeah, lot of how good. How many videos you got in your channel, approximately? Over twenty-seven thousand videos. Holy! Yeah, and whatever ones are good, ones are mostly on the play. But like I said, go to the playlist, you'll see the videos. I got tons of oh, videos yeah. of the That's zoo. Cool. I got a few videos of the zoo, which have. You see, I got the old hospital videos. The hospital's now gone, and I got this. Then I got some other things that are pretty good. What the heck were you doing, Gra Grayson? Wow, he's he's crazy. She must have been doing that for quite a while, like 27,000. Been around for about five years. Okay, how many is that a day? <laughs> like a few. I don't know. I mostly do. You yeah. see here. Yeah. You see here. You see here. Let me look here real quick for you. Um, the hospital. So it's just. Old Three Rivers Hospital. That's one set of videos. And you see here. Where is it? Yeah, I'm looking for the zoo ones real quick for you. I can't remember the zoo ones on here. That's going to suck. But yeah, I got zoo ones. I mean, okay. Skimmer Park 3 Rivers, Michigan. That one has Bob in it, which is the oldest tortoise. There's 17 of those videos. And then there's 12, pop and there's 12 popcorn videos. Yeah, and trust me. It's a nice place to hang out and just relax because there's nothing there to do. It's quiet. There's nothing really that really goes on. But yeah, I mean, I usually sometimes if it's nice and sunny out there, I usually go to the hot dog stand up the road, pick up hot dogs. Put my, I go to the I go to the grocery store up the road from my house. I mean, from the zoo. 
Get a pop, pick up some, pick up some hot dogs, take the hot dogs out of the park, eat the hot dogs, and watch the animals for a couple hours. Oh, yeah. That's all I do. Yeah, it's kind of chill out. If it's not that bad, I'll do that. I mean, I do that a lot. It's also a good place to play Pokemon. It's also a good place to play Pokemon Go, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of people, I mean, I'm the only person that, I mean, I think I'm the only person that still has, uses a big old camera still from the night. They use a big old camera sometimes to film, just for fun. And I do pretty good, I mean, I film pretty good work. I mean, I film where I can get my hand, I mean, I just film a little of everything. Cool. Yeah. So you still put up a video, you must put like one or two videos every day still? Then. Yeah. I only don't, there's one day of the year I don't put videos up, one day of the year I don't put a video up. Oh yeah? What's that, Christmas? 9-11. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Well, that makes sense, makes Only sense. one way I'll put a video up 9-11. There's only one what? way you put a video up 9-11. Severe weather. Yeah. If, uh, there, if there's yeah. severe weather, then that overrides my, my, my rules. Oh yeah, so you can film the severe weather. And put it if, it's, if it's severe weather, then it overrides my it overrides my uh, rules. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the only way it's gonna override my rules. If it's so severe weather, then I'll override my own rules. Oh, yeah. Which one people some people think I'm the only YouTuber actually will break his own rules doing that. I said more severe severe weather is more important than anything else. And yeah, I guess what the funny thing is that when I have severe weather, I actually put a bar on the bottom of my YouTube channel with the warnings on the bottom of the screen. Oh, yeah. No, really. There's a website I go on to do that. I put the warning at the bottom of the screen while I'm doing a video. <laughs> yeah. We had a blizzard warning earlier. We had a blizzard warning before Christmas this year. I had the warning at the bottom of the screen while I was doing games. I had a blizzard warning at the bottom of the screen. That was pretty, that was pretty funny. I mean, I don't yeah, know. That's, some... <laughs> that's pretty funny, though, isn't it? Yeah. I'm playing GTA with a warning at the bottom of the screen. At the bottom of the screen. But but if it's like if it's like a tornado if it's like a tornado warning or something right, then I don't do that. You if know, it's what? if it's if it's severe weather, I won't do that. Oh yeah, I gotcha. But since it's like a winter since it's like a winter since it's like a winter warning or something, I'll do that. But if it's like a tornado or something, no, automatically like, go straight to the news. If it's a tornado, I'll go straight to the news. Yeah. If it's winter if it's winter related, then yeah, I'll put the, I'll put the warning by the screen and play. But if it's like severe weather or something, then no, because. If it's like a tornado warning or something, I actually put that on the screen and go duck and cover, you know. Yeah, I go to the basement. It's serious, then. 